cry during this when my father says, learn to minimize your maximum regret. I'm going to say that one again. Learn to minimize your maximum regret. There is not a man that I know that resembles that remark <laughs> more than this man right here. This man has done more with less. There have been movies that have been made about people's lives that are more boring. This man is an inspiration to me. He is an inspiration to my sisters. He is an inspiration to my mom, who is another inspiration to all of us. And I just want to, if you have something in your hand right now, please lift it up and say cheers to my father. Chester Pearl Edwards, Jr. To move, to transition here a little bit, and I, I'm not sure of my numbers here, but I do know that this year is the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. This man is 75. I think, and I think that if we went back, I think that this is his 50th time going to the Indianapolis 500. Is it? It's not quite that. I missed a couple in there when our finances were a little less. Oh, it's true. <laughs> That's because mom bought makeup and they couldn't go there. <laughs> Every year on Memorial Day, we get together, uh, usually in Lafayette, Indiana, and we celebrate. And we celebrate the Edwards family, and we go to the Indianapolis 500. As such, it's such an important event, and we have something very special that we want to talk about. And I'm going to turn it over to my sister, Jill. So, uh, Daddy, we, uh, we have a, a special birthday uh, wish for you if you want to read that out loud. Out loud. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Chester. Can't wait to meet you for a 200 mile an hour club event and for you to enjoy the amazing thrill and ride and crossing the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway or Yard of Bricks at 200 miles an hour with me. Enjoy your birthday. We'll see you very soon at the track. Best wishes, Mary Ann Bradoy. Mary Ann Sixty-four. So 
vehicles weren't running that. At that point in time, the Indy cars were running somewhere around 140 miles an hour. So I was hitting them pretty good. And we made three or four laps before he waved us off. And that was a, a rewarding experience at the time. And this will be even more. This is un, unimaginable for me. I'm waiting to be able to report back to you uh, whether I kept my drawers clean or not. <laughs> showed up at the speedway. Right? We watched him get his first win and only win in 1969. Right? And so uh, when you grow up in Indiana, there's two things. One is the Indianapolis 500 and the other is basketball. And if you're not connected with either of those two, you're not a Hoosier. <laughs> We don't hold that against him that he's a Hoosier. <laughs> so thank you again, everybody, for coming out, for wishing him a 75th. And if you could, one more time, lift up a drink, give out an applause for 75 great years. Make sure that you sign the chalkboard thing inside. Right inside, there's some markers. And there is plenty of pork left. I already have the meat sweats. So please eat some more meat, and we really appreciate it. We're going to take the cake in. You guys can have some birthday cake. A lot of desserts and other things. Now I'm going to make one more thing while well, I got this crowd together. He's always a politician. Remember, Saturday, June the 18th, the 59th the annual. All of it, Christian Church, Chicken and Mutton Barbecue. You and got buy it? tickets from us, that Wendy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 ten dollars for adults, June the 18th. So I will be off to the side, shuffling out my tickets as you need. <laughs>